Hi, Cinema 4D users. This is Jamie with C4 Depot. I wanted to introduce you to Infinite Ocean. Infinite Ocean is like the easiest, fastest way to create expansive seascapes and animated oceans that I think that there is out there. It's a really super efficient, very lightweight tool that doesn't take a lot of CPU processing power. It doesn't use complex fluid dynamics or particle systems. It uses displacement. So you can get very, very fast renders and really, really nice results very quickly without choking your machine. So to just show you how this works, you just go to the content browser, you go to Infinite Ocean and you just double click on the Infinite Ocean icon. We want to activate the uh, render camera. And one of the reasons that this thing works so great is that you're not displacing or calculating anything that the camera doesn't see. So let's just activate that render camera position. And if you animate your timeline, you'll see that these waves already have like a little bit of default motion to them. And you can go over to the um, control area and you can adjust the amplitude of the swells. Uh, you can check your height displacement. And for this particular render, I just want to create some pretty calm seas. I don't want anything too, too radical. Um, but we want to put a sky in there. So what we should do is go to the skies. And this is a real sky that has the parameters dialed in. It looks really nice. And I'm just going to hit the render button on this so you can see how quickly this thing just calculates everything and gives you a render. Now, this is a quad core. It's not the fastest machine in the world. It's probably about five or six years old. But it still calculates these scenes about as fast as any simple scene inside Cinema 4D, which is really great. Now, the ball that's in the middle of the scene is about the size of an aircraft carrier. So uh, if you're going to use really super stormy seas, the swells are going to be slow motion, which is pretty much the way that they would be if you were um, viewing a very, very large object in the, in the ocean. Now, I've already done some renders using the various sky presets uh, environments that we have. Uh, this is a partly cloudy sky, so if you want some choppy seas, uh, you would use that sky. And all of these presets are 8,000 pixels wide, and we sell these photographs on iStock Photo for about 27 bucks a piece, and they're not even this big. Uh, these are seamless panoramas. You can go all the way around 360 degrees, and you won't see a seam in the texture. Uh, and we've tried to like throw in the basic kind of weather patterns that you're going to see. Um, for ocean conditions. This is like a morning sunset, uh, pretty calm seas. And the default one that I think I've already showed you. And then this is a stormy sea, really, really, really choppy. Uh, so that's like the worst weather that we can throw at you in this tool. But I wanted to show you some uh, examples of this. This is, uh, if you may have already seen this, but this is a particular render that we've already done. It's uh, a video that's you know, like part of our stock collection. But you can see how quickly this thing can just calculate these oceans as far as the eye can see. So you could literally go from New York to Paris on a jet ski in like two minutes and this thing could totally handle it. Your machine will not choke. And I think the results that this little lightweight tool gives you is pre are they're pretty phenomenal, I think. And they're very, very fast. So that's the, um, the cruise ship. And we also did um, another one, this is um, like a little Noah's Ark animation. Now we don't have weather presets included in this, but you can see how really nice this looks and uh, gives you like a pretty nice range of, of, of ocean. So that's pretty much it for Infinite Ocean. Uh, if you're interested, you can go to c4depot.com and go to the tool section in the header menu bar. And thank you so much for your time. Nice talking to you. and We'll talk to you later. Bye now.